Welcome to MoGraphPlus.com and comprehensive introduction to Maxwell Render for Cinema 4D. My name is Kamal Khazri and I will be your mentor throughout this course. In this series of tutorials in more than 8 hours and 20 minutes, we'll learn how to use Maxwell Render for Cinema 4D. Maxwell Render is an unbiased 3D renderer for making photorealistic images. The good thing about Maxwell Render is that it is really straightforward, it just works. Lights, cameras, materials, they are all real world and correct. What amazed me most about Maxwell is the fact that there are very few technical concepts and rendering photorealistic images couldn't be easier. We start the course by laying down a bunch of rules that are going to be extremely essential when working with Maxwell. Then I show you where to find different Maxwell tools and functions inside Cinema 4D and walk you through the general workflow to get your job done with Maxwell inside Cinema 4D. The entire next two sections of the course will be dedicated to discover Maxwell material. First, we'll learn what each and every parameter does in this powerful system. Then we'll learn how to use Maxwell material to create real-world materials like plastics, wood, metals, transparent objects, fabrics, and much more. I've worked with different render engines and I can tell you the way Maxwell handles creating materials is exceptional and you can create the most complex materials using this system. Then we start learning about emitters and environment lighting. We walk you through different types of emitters like area emitter, spot emitter and IES emitter. After that we discover different types of environment lighting including sky dome, physical sky and image based lighting and multi-light future. This one has literally blew me away. Using multi-light future you can adjust every bit of your lighting during or after your render. So if you want to change the intensity or the color of your light after your render has finished you can simply do that using multi-light. Next we learn about cameras in Maxwell. The camera in Maxwell was built to resemble real-world cameras in every aspect. We learn about exposure value, ISO, f-stop, shutter speed, depth of field, motion blur, lens and aperture, white balance and much more. Then we learn different render options in Maxwell. We learn how to use fire to interactively preview our scene, how to export still frames and animations. We cover channels and multipass rendering in depth. We learn about extra sampling that allows you to focus your resources on specific parts of your render. In the final section of this course, we discover some of the Maxwell objects and tags including instancing in Maxwell, MXS reference, Maxwell C, Maxwell measure, hair and grass tags, particle and volumetric tags. Even though this course has Cinema 4D users in mind, but other users can also greatly benefit from it. Maxwell is great, solid, high-end and very straightforward and easy to use, so let's start learning Maxwell.